Hey guys, what's going on? Credit for Matt Vapes at Easley here, and uh, I got a new starter kit for you that we just got in from Aspire. It is called The Breeze, and so uh, I saw these on the uh, on our website that we ordered from, and I was like, ah, I'll give it a shot, see how it is. But uh, they actually look really cool. Um, the box itself comes with the device, two of their .6 ohm coils, extra O-rings, a micro USB cable, the warranty card, the usual man manual, you know, the usual stuff. But it's kind of cool the box that it comes in. It looks like this, which it took me like six years to figure out how to open it, but it turns out there's a little slit right here and you just lift that up. And the device sits in there, your two coils are right here, your charge cord is right there, and then your little uh, manuals are on the top here. But I've already kind of taken it out and looked at, uh, looked at it a little bit just so I could uh, shoot the video and know what I'm talking about. But basically you get, um, well let me show you the device first. You get this device, this is the device here, it's got this little cap that goes on it, keeps it safe from harm or getting germs all over your mouthpiece, whatever you prefer. Um, but basically you can pull that little thing out and there'll be a coil, or this little piece right here um, that just sits in. And that actually screws down in there, um, which I didn't notice before. But, um, so basically all I gotta do is take your coil here, which if you notice... I'm going to go ahead and try to use Max Juice in here. I'm going to use a little bit of Max Cookie just because that, that hole looks big enough to be able to use Max Juice. So we're going to put Max Juice in there and see how it does. Um, this is more of a test for me than anything. But we're going to be using some Max Cookie, so I'm going to go ahead and prime that coal up real good. Just get a little bit of juice on all that cotton that I see. Soak it up real nice. Looks like we're good to go. And then, um, you can just fill this little tank here on the side up. So we're going to go ahead and dump what we got in there. Alright, so I had a couple customers. But, um, you just fill it up. They've got like a nice little red line here for you, which it really surprised me how low in the tank it is. I don't know if you can see, yeah. Um, but I guess it has to do with, uh, the chimney because the yeah yeah because the chimney's pr something pretty serious. So all of the coils have the or the chimney has this little uh, notch in it and very similar to the um, the eye cares. It's got this little bar right here that you use to tighten that sucker down. Which I don't know. I I really like this design and everything. I wish they just made it a little bit easier to open these where you didn't have to have a tool. Because I have some people that come in here that that's, that's the part that really just kills it for them is having to use this tool. But <clears throat> um, for most people, they don't mind it too bad. So in the manual, or well, it's a, it's, it holds two mils. That's the tank. Um, it's got a 650 mAh battery. It's about 93 millimeters by 33 millimeters with about 19 millimeters in, uh, in between. Um... It says that you press the button to fire it, but it also says that you can just pull on it. Wow, for what that is, and the size of it, I mean, it's a little bit bigger than the eye care, don't get me wrong. Um, I'm not sure how the Max Juice is doing in there. I'm just trying to see if it's maybe it's that coal breaking in. It's producing a lot of vapor for what it is and the size of it. It's it's a lot more than I expected. Um, Spire's out here doing stuff, guys. Um, this is this is a pretty cool device. I might have to add this one to my little mini collection. My only thing about it is like I like 
I don't know. I'm gonna put it in my pocket real fast to see like how it sits. So that that lid that they have for it that kind of keeps it in there. Well, it's not really moving too much in my pocket. It doesn't really create a big imprint, um, but this lid pops off super easy, like, like barely, like barely tapping it. So I would say I'd like to see that a little bit, little bit stronger. Maybe it's just this one out of this box, but other than that, the device is pretty cool. I don't understand the, the button to fire or the pull to fire. Like, why did they put both on there? That's my, that's my main question, is like, why both? Like, because you're pulling on it anyways. So why would you want to, I guess, to make you feel better? Like, I don't... I'm not sure about that. That's, that's odd. But other than that, I mean, the device is awesome. Um, let me get that phone real quick. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So, um, my final impression of it, I really like it. Um, over, overall, like it, it's a really good device. The hit is great off of it. Um, I definitely should have put a thinner juice in here, though. I don't think the max is hitting the way it should be. Um, it's a 9010. I thought with that with that hole, it would it would it would be all right, but. It's giving a pretty decent flavor, but like I said, I think that it would be better with just something thinner. But overall, I would definitely, I'm really considering buying one of these. I really like the way that it works. Um, it definitely gives a great hit. I might try to run some like Nixalt juice in it, but I'm kind of scared to at the same time. Like, because it hits a lot harder than like the uh, the Ely for the Limitless Pulse or anything like that. But if I do happen to pick one up, and uh, and get some Nick Salt juice. I'll let you know in the comments how I'm liking it and what I what I think about it further as I use it a little bit more. But it's a really solid device. Um, I think we sell them for about forty bucks, so you can't beat that. About the same price as the uh, the Pulse. A um, little bit more expensive than the Eye Care, but you're definitely getting a a bigger package, literally and metaphorically uh, here. Um, so that's, that's what I got for you. If you have any questions about it, feel free to leave them in the comments below and we'll be sure to get back to you. All right. Y'all have a great day.